All right, so we're talking about the concept of shuntography. And um, I want you guys to understand this. Anytime you hear graphy, anytime you see graphy, what should always come to your mind is radiography, imaging, okay? Anything imaging studies at all is what graphy. So if I say shuntography, well, I've spoken a lot, a lot about shunts. Well, we've spoken about the Potokawa shunt, the Mesokawa shunt, which one again? Photosystemic shunt. There's even one shunt that we spoke about when we were talking about um, hydrocephalus. You remember that time? As far back as last year. So, this shuntography is all about okay, you did this shunt. A shunt is a surgery to now connect some parts that were not naturally con connected. So, if you do this shunt, there could be complications. Like, let me say there could be thrombus, form, uh, thrombus formation in the shunt. So the shunt is narrowed or is completely blocked and all that. So shuntography is kind of like an imaging study where after you have done the shunt, you want to now be doing imaging studies to be studying it, okay? And be seeing if there are possible complications coming up, all right? So we'll talk about this shuntography, the types, the techniques, how you do it, the indications, the procedure, and the possible complications, right? So shuntography is a medical imaging procedure used to evaluate the patency and function of a shunt. Okay, typically photosystemic shunt, but any other shunt in the body do. All right, you can actually um, use this to visualize and see if there's possible complications coming up. So the types we have the photography, which is imaging of the portal vein and branches. We have the carbography, is imaging of the inferior venal cava. You do a shunt to the inferior venal cover, you want to now be seeing the progress. Then we have the shunt venography, which is imaging of the shunt itself. Okay. Then types now, techniques, sorry. There could be contrast enhanced radiography, ultrasound, CT scan, MRI, angiography. Okay. Either one of them. Indications when you should do these imaging studies. If you want to evaluate how patent the shunt is. You know the shunt is supposed to remain open. So you want to evaluate, is it still remaining open or not? If you want to diagnose if there's shunt occlusions or stenosis, you want to diagnose, you want to confirm if there's any what possible blockage coming up, right? Then you want to access how the shunt is functioning, right? Then you want to also dictate possible complications like bleeding or thrombosis, right? So procedure, probably you just insert the catheter or needle into the shunt. Well, okay, you now inject the contrast agent. Okay, so this is, if you see these pictures, is making it very visible. Okay, so if you now inject the contrast now, you now do the imaging to now make it much more clear, okay? Now, um, complications, some people, when you apply the contrast, they might be allergic to it. All right, I mean, when you're trying to put the catheter, it might lead to bleeding or hematoma leads to infections or shunt occlusion or damage, okay? So just for you guys to know the procedure, right? This is what shuntography medical imaging procedure actually means.